What we're going to look at is forearm strikes this time. Now from here, rather than striking down with the forearm, we're going to look at using the forearm to cut into, I don't mean physically cut as in a knife, but to cut into the side of the neck, this side or this side, or even to cut across the face, this way to push the head back. But I like using these, particularly on, on the side of the neck, into here. So again, if Dave's throwing that hook comes in, into here, check it down. As this one comes down to trap, I'm not, also not bringing my arm round, I'm keeping it tucked in tight. And as I do that, I move my body forward, same idea, feet pointing towards your attacker, and I slam the forearm into the side of his neck. Very, very effective, all right? Very effective indeed, and it will, again, the side of the neck, you have a, uh, amongst other things, you have a baroreceptor. What a baroreceptor is, is it controls blood pressure. So by striking, creating a stimulus here, it will cause a drop in the blood pressure. Dropping the blood pressure causes the person to pass out. So it's classed as a vascular knockout. It's classed because you're affecting the, the, um, uh, the blood supply and also affecting the, the way that your body uh, messes with the blood pressure. All right. So again, this, from, that, from that position there, comes in, up, here, one, two. So it's, it's simultaneous. Check here, trap here. And this cuts into here as you do it. So again, here. Get your head in just, down just in case, in case something else comes in if need be, you can bring it up to here to, to save you from a punch on the other side if it comes in, but it's highly unlikely, because that and that together is going to work really, really well. On the inside, this time if the hook's coming in, instead of going trap and drop down here, I could move both together. Hook comes in, here. So I've done that movement to here, yeah, here. I brought this up and I've struck into here. I could bring it forward like that passive guard, so I could intercept here and here, yeah? The only thing is the further out you go, the more power he can generate, all right? So the more chance he's got there. So if I intercept higher up his arm, it's better. So he comes in here. This comes into here. Now from here, heads down again, pulling forward, groin strike, strike to the ribs over the liver, straight into here, multiple strikes. Get in there, yeah? Deal with it. Loads of options, but this forearm cutting across the neck is key. I could cut across the neck with the forearm and then turn and slam that forearm. So it's kind of one into here, slam back into the collarbone and take the collarbone out. Feet are always important. Point your feet where you want the power to go. Because like we said remember before on, on previous DVDs, we talked about the foot turned out. All right. Uh, and if the foot's turned out, if I'm here and my foot's turned out, my back foot's turned out, from knowing Dave and knowing uh, how, you know, where his skill level is, that'd be a prime target. If I'm here, he's going to kick that and that's my balance gone. Yeah. Whereas if I'm in this position, he kicks my thigh, it's strong and structured, yeah? The foot sideways will cause it to lose balance and dislocate my knee possibly or damage the, the ligaments. But a strong structure forward will, will save you, all right? And put you in a position of power. So, punches, hammer fists, forearm slap striking in, linking in with the gouging that we talked about before. From here, okay, Dave's gonna be throwing that punch into here. I've done this and I'm gouging here. So I'm cut, I've checked into here and straight away, I've done both. I've come in and I've gouged. So my fingers are going for the eyes. So it's not just the thumb this time, I'm actually jabbing in with the fingers. In, in uh, Cantonese, in, in sort of arts like Wing Chun and things, they call it beauty. Yeah, all right, but basically thrusting fingers. But it can equally be that, you know, you just quick flip finger jab into the eyes, just get that reaction. You're looking for a reaction.